welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to make a lovely salmon quiche. It's absolutely delicious, very nice, very good for you with all the omega-3 from the, uh, the, the fish and uh, you will be all able to enjoy it together since uh, calculating the carbs for this it's actually quite easy. I will show you uh, later on um, in the video. Okay, so let's start. You will see extremely easy and it will take you maybe 10 minutes. Okay. I am using here a pie pan in which I put my phyllo pastry. You want to use the parchment paper that comes with the pastry and then you will pierce holes with your fork. I am getting rid here of the excess parchment paper and then you want to put it aside. Thinly slice an onion and then you will do the same with spinach. I have used here frozen spinach because I think it's very easy for me to use it. Uh, I first buy it and then leave it in the freezer and then I can use it anytime I need spinach. In a preheated pan add some olive oil and then put the onion. You want the onion to start cooking and become uh, translucent. After this you will add the spinach and you want to make sure that all of the spinach has lost its water so that the quiche is not watery. Once it's cooked you uh, put it aside. In a separate bowl break three eggs. Mix them well and then you will add the milk. Mix it well once again and then you can start breaking the salmon. I use here salmon from Costco but you can use whatever you want. This is smoked salmon. Then add your spinach and onions, remix it once again and then you're ready to put it uh, to add to your uh, pastry. What I do now, I try to make it nice and put it a bit everywhere so uh, it will look nice once it's cooked. And then once you've done this, it's ready to go into a preheated oven for around 25 to 30 minutes. Now that your quiche is ready, you want to make sure that it will cool down on the rack like I've got here and you want to get rid also of the parchment paper otherwise the quiche will become all soggy. So let it uh, cool down like this and then it's ready to eat. Well, I hope you have enjoyed my recipe. I will see you next time, my friend. You take care. Bye.